I know defense has been a pretty big emphasis for you guys this, this year in the preseason. Coach Donlin brought in, I know Coach Bielan was talking about him maybe being captaining the defense. You're a couple weeks into practice now. What's what's the biggest difference you know? We play defense a lot more than we usually have. And, um, I think it's going to make all the difference for us. Uh, scoring points is never a like, problem for us, I believe. And, uh, you know, it's the other side of the ball that I think will take us from being good to great. So uh, we put a, a, a stamp on making sure we're sound defensively with our fundamentals. From the first couple of weeks of it being implemented, it's making a lot uh, of a difference. As far as the big men go this year, I know Mark Donnell's back. You've got a lot of young guys and also Mo Wagner is coming back for you know, the second year. Well, I, I guess the depth in the post is it going to be better this year than what you had last year? I don't think anything was wrong with it last year. I just think guys are uh, fully understanding of the rules and the, the new rules that we uh, implement. And, um, you know, you just, that second year of your plan, and the, every year that you get a chance to play, you just you know what's going to work and what's not going to work. And I think uh, with Wagner's second year, he's going to uh, not make as many of the same mistakes he made the first year, and that's going to be all the difference for us as a team. Zach talked about he feels a lot more healthy now than he, than he was last year. When, when, when you watch him play against him in practice, do you, does, he, does he look different? He got his pop back. Uh, sophomore year, he's really, uh, really uh, I believe, one of the best players in the country. And, uh, you know, like I said, some things happen and he wasn't at full go. So um, I'm, I'm expecting him to get back to that, that caliber of himself. And, uh, I'm excited for him. Simpson obviously comes in with, you know, rips the saw him a lot in AAU, really, really good point guard. Yeah. You're the senior. How have you kind of brought him under under your wing, and how has he maybe helped you uh, improve and play in practice? Firstly, just making sure he knows that uh, it's a different ball game in high school, man. It's just so different. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like starting all the way over. So he's a great listener. He's a great learner. He wants to he wants to compete. So um, it's easy to he, he buys into a lot. Uh, you know, my, my thing for him is just, you know, when my time here is done, um, he's able to lead the team, uh, you know, and not get flustered at some things that, you know, may, that come up, you know, being a point guard. So, uh, you know, some things he talked to me is, uh, you know, we got some little battles that we get into. And, uh, you know, I appreciate him because, you know, it only is like iron and sharp iron. Last year was obviously a bit of an awkward situation having to play against Max in Indiana. You got this year, you got Spike playing at, at Purdue. I mean, this is tr really unprecedented as far as Big Ten guys transferring in interconference. You guys had it now two years in a row. What's it going to be like to play against Spike? At, you know, at this Purdue? point, I'm kind of asking, will it ever end? But no, nah, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> he's a great guy, man. Max himself is a great guy. Uh, we hate to see him go, but we understand the circumstances. Uh, and, and as with Spike, so uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. It's kind of gonna be like practice in open gym when I see him. I already uh, put a couple bugs in his ear, and uh, I'm gonna get after him a little bit. But um, you know, we wish nothing but you know the best for those guys. We understand circumstances change, and you know some things just don't go the way you expect them. Either. So we support us in the city. Ton of excitement, obviously. And football and yeah. the move to Nike, the jump man stuff. I know going back to the AU, I think you played Michigan Mustang, so you're Adidas, always one Adidas. What's what's the as a player, is there a does it really matter what gear you wear and kind of what what is what, what's the adjustment like if any to wearing the new gear? I don't think it's anything. I, I've always been the person that just, I prefer comfort over anything. Like style, is just, if I'm comfortable, I don't really care what it is. But of course, I love it. Uh, the Jordan brand has been great to us in the short span of time we've been a part of it. Uh, but um, we're always appreciative of the fact that they won't even you know, collaborate with us. And, um, you know, we're just looking forward to it. We know we, they're going to do some great things with our uniforms. But at the end of the day, I love the fact of being comfortable. So, uh, Jordan does a great job. Do you think kids will look, will look at that in recruiting, that, that, that Michigan's now Nike, uh, you know, a jump man school? Is, that, is there some prestige to that? Maybe so. I, I don't know. I think when I was coming to a decision, I don't think the, the school brand mattered. But uh, I don't know. It's a different
different era. They may, uh, they may not, but I think I know for a fact that uh, the jump man itself generates tons of excitement. And uh, more often than none, that you know, a lot of guys, you know, are gonna flock to the to the jump man than, than none. Big Ten race this year, a lot of you know, teams returning a, a lot of key players. And I, I guess when you, when you look at the overall strength of the league, do you, do you feel like it's going to be another year where it's going to be a grind every day? I think that's yearly. That's a grind every year. And, uh, you know, there's no no down day, no down game. You just gonna have to, you know, gut a win out every night, night in and night out. So, yeah, to answer your question, I think it's gonna be a grind regardless of uh, who you're playing and where you're playing at. This conference is second to none to me.